Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well tonight. Um, I just wanted to come to you real fast. Um, I've been, it's been a busy week. Um, I have no excuses for not doing anything before now. It's been probably a week and a half since I've done the last video. Um, just wanted to say hey, I thank you guys for watching the video. Um, had a lot of good comments on Facebook and some other places about it, but I wanted tonight just to real quickly go over two different oils that I use on a daily basis. Um, the first one is On Guard. Um, this oil, it was in my beginning kit when I when I started two years ago. Um, this has been a lifesaver for me. Um, On Guard is a proprietary blend of essential oils. It's got wild orange peel, clove, bud, cinnamon leaf, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, uh, rosemary, and leaf and flower essentials in it. It is a, an awesome, healthy immune support system, uh, oil and it also helps with respiratory functions if you take it internally. Um, you can use this as a surface cleaner. I use it as a hand sanitizer. Um, you can dilute it, put it in a spray bottle, spritz bottle. Um, you can diffuse it if you're feeling nasty it's one way to get the oils in your body um, but the primary way that I use this all the time is internally uh, I will take a capsule and put three to four drops in it along with some other oils whatever I'm feeling whatever I need and chug that at bedtime um, right before I go to bed and you can do that a couple of times a day um, this thing if you're starting to feel sick this is the one that you want to take this will help prevent you from getting sick. I promise you on a stack of Bibles it works. Um, a lot of people dilute this and rub it on the bottom of their children's feet to help with infection. The biggest thing is diffusing. I heard a story from a teacher, a friend of mine, um, just last week, uh, was talking about a school teacher used a diffuser and diffused this in her classroom and a couple weeks went by, long story short, they did a quick analysis. Her room was one of the rooms in the school that the kids were not as sick. Um, and I believe the statistic was 75% of all the rooms had sickness, but hers didn't. That I was like, you got to be kidding me. I mean, I know this stuff works, but for a teacher to diffuse that, to keep her kids in her classroom well, that's crazy. That speaks volumes for what this oil can do. So. If you start feeling sick, you want to grab On Guard. They also make it in capsule form. This is just an easy way. I take these on the road with me. It's an easy way to take them if you don't have capsules. You know, you're putting drops in, in a capsule. It's an easy way to, to, to take them. Um, the next one that I use probably on a daily basis, and I get made fun of and ridiculed for this, but it works, is lavender. It's hard to see this on this camera. Uh, I, you can diffuse this. I, I diffuse it at night. If I'm in a hurry, I'll rub some on the bottom of my feet. Um, this is a good um, product to have for any kind of skin irritation. Um, it helps with um, uh, any kind of irritation you've got. I've used, these on, this, used this on bed bugs. I'm mean, not bed bugs. I've used this on bug bites, um, any kind of rash that I may have. I've mentioned this before, if you get burnt, like burn your fingers on something or whatever, grab lavender first, put it on there, and then I use lemongrass as well. It also is a relaxer, it's a natural relaxing uh, oil. Um, so again, you can diffuse it to relax at night. Um, a lot of people use this to diffuse in a baby's room to help them sleep through the night. Um, a testimonial I got from a friend of mine uh, used this the first couple of nights and he slept through the night, which was unheard of for him. So um, even ancient Egyptians used to use lavender all the time. Um, to me, it's not, I don't particularly like the aroma of lavender, um, but some people do. Some people have even used it as a perfume, not me. I was like, ugh. Um, but you can apply it topically, you can diffuse it. 
Um, there's so much that will do. Even rub it on your a couple of drops of your hands. Rub it and inhale it. That's one quick way to get it in your body. Um, bottom of your feet. Um, you can put it on a uh, couple of drops on a piece of cloth and put it in your linen closet. Um, you can use it when you cook to help soften citrus flavor oils or any kind of citrus dish. Uh, add a flavor, flavorful twist to marinades, baked goods, desserts. I've not done that, but you know it's some of the stuff you can do. A couple of drops. I also use this in my dryer. I've got a wool laundry ball. You can order them on Amazon or eBay. Um, I have quit using fabric softener sheets because of, I've just read so much about what fabric softener does to your dryer screens and causing lint buildup and eventually your dryer catches on fire. And uh, so I got wool balls that wool balls there's six in a pack um, a couple of drops of lavender on it throw it in the dryer and it actually helps your clothes dry faster as well so it's a nice useful way to uh, um, use that as well so those are just two of my top favorites um, I would love to hear any suggestions you guys have uh, things that you do but those are the two top two I'm trying to do a couple of videos at least every couple of days just to show people my favorite oils and some concoctions that I've come up with that actually help me uh, to, right now it's allergy season I know people that are still fighting flu so allergy people get on guard also lemon lavender peppermint that's a great um, allergy buster right there um, but any questions comments put them down below love to hear from you guys um, G, G signing off for tonight. I am hitting the bed here shortly. Take care.